Hello guys, once again it's Matt, and today we have another video. Let's thank our members Invictus, Crazy Bull, Cots, and our patrons Interceptor, Richardson, Danny Cage, Rupert, and I am a noob as well. Thank you guys, and let's get into it. So, yeah guys, today we're going to take a look uh, on the Vegan itself, you know. The Vegan is an aircraft that I think it, it has its problems right now. I already did some videos on it not a while back. But um, I wanted to make a video about it, and then uh, one of our moderators, Toilet, uh, actually, um, you know, uh, suggested this topic. So, basically, how the vegan is uh, right now, and how it would look like in the future. That's the idea of the video, because, you know, the vegan is an aircraft that it falls on that middle ground between a third generation and a fourth generation aircraft. If you know me by now you probably know that i really dislike this way to deal with generation of aircraft because kind of doesn't make sense because some aircraft will always fall be between those lines and it's not something very official uh, you know it's more like a community kind of thing um I, I i think i mean it probably has some protocols on inside military uh unit uh, branches you know but still it is more of a thing of discussion than an official thing of a government. Even though, like, the Chinese government, for example, has uh, a special designation for generations, which is completely different than the generations that we have here in the West. But still, um, even with that, I think it's kind of weird. Uh, because uh, the vegan is always a very good example. The MiG-25 also, I like to always say about it, but the vegan is a very, very good example because... If you compare to most of the uh, third generation aircraft, especially the JA-37C that we see right now, uh, I have some sources, I will leave the sources on the description, that this aircraft actually, if you consider the, the Vigan, it is uh, the Vigan that we have right now in the game, with flares, with stuff like that, it is kind of a Vigan from like 1992, 1993, okay? It is shortly before the JA-37D uh, and it has many, many modifications that were only done in the 90s for the Vegan. So, yeah, that's one thing, you know, the aircraft itself, it's the performance of it. If it was like a 80s aspect, uh, I mean, a uh, with the... If it was a, a, an 80s version of the of the vegan, uh, of course I'm talking about the the the, the fighter variant. Uh, it would be more of a third generation. It wouldn't have flares. It wouldn't have very advanced missiles, the radar, the gun sight, and stuff like that. It would be very very old, you know. But with the stuff that we have, it is a very modern one. And uh, obviously the main concern is that the Gripen which is obviously the follow-up to the vegan uh but of course we probably will get the je 37 uh, d anyway first but uh even with the gripen it is too advanced for now and for a long while to be honest it's more of a 4.5 generation aircraft or 4 point plus uh 4 plus generation aircraft so it is not exactly what we need right now and I know a lot of people always talk about how the Gripen should be added right now, even if it's an early variant and stuff like that. But remember, they, they will not use the Sky Flashman, the RB-71. It will go straight for the RB-99, and they will not add. It's not something that even, I mean, I want or I don't want. It's just something that it will not happen. They will not add the Gripen with the performance of the Vegan that it has right now. Uh, especially with the RB99 or the MO20, it just it's not needed, you know, right now. Uh, we are still like in slow steps in the right direction of fourth generation aircraft, but the Gripen is just too advanced for now. So the Gripen is it's just not going to come. Not when the first MiG-29s come. Not when the F-15 come. Not when the Su-27 come. It will come when we see a MiG. 29M or MiG-35, we will see Su-25, uh, Su-27M or Su-35 um, aircraft like that. Uh, maybe a little bit earlier than that because the we have the uh, earlier variants of the Gripen, but still, it's going to be 
a far away uh, aircraft to be at it, you know? And the vegan is one that it is kind of the... It, it's already kind of how it is right now. It's already the pinnacle of its type of aircraft. The only modification that it can get right now that could improve its performance to fight other uh, fourth generation aircraft such as the MiG-29, F-16, F-15 will be the um, A9L, you know, the RB-74. But still with that, uh, the radar is the same. The performance of the aircraft is the same. The flares are the same. The sky flash is still there. So, it is kind of, you know, I know it's kind of frustrating, but it's just how realistic it is, you know. Um, Sweden just used that for a very long time. So, it, and it's not by any means a bad aircraft. The radar itself, it's very much comparable to a radar such as the MiG-29 one or the F-16 one or even earlier F-15s and Su-27s maybe. But... Uh, it is just the lower range and stuff like that, the limited TWS, uh, Azimuth, uh, it, it has its problems, but it still, it is very, very good. Uh, I think right now it is even kind of OP if it gets to a down tier. Uh, it's an aircraft that the performance of it and the radar of it are the best out there uh, for that BR when you get a down tier. Uh, but obviously the weapons, they lack a little bit. The Sky Flash... Um, even somebody said to me that Skyflash actually has a good range, but it it does, but not compared to the AIM-7F or the R-24 or, or any other missile, to be honest. The range on it is very, very limited, especially in lower altitudes, because, to be honest, I mean, if you fire in, like, a mid-altitude of 5,000 meters, for example, you will end up seeing that the missile will probably miss because the, arc the, the the target needs to be standing still for like m a shot more than 10 kilometers it's just so easy to miss very easy shots uh with different missiles uh that, that with different missiles it would be easy you know so yeah the sky flash is like lusting and it's just not the greatest thing ever the a9p or, or the or the a9j you know the rb24j it is also kind of problematic, you know. So you have these problems with weaponry that you have to deal with right now. And especially the cannon, uh, which doesn't have the gun sight uh, or tracers. So it makes kind of a hard gun to aim, uh, to be honest. So, yeah, right now it's fine. You know, 11.0 has the RB24J, has the RB71. It's all right. You can do. I mean, I did a video on ta a 10 kill game, so you can get a lot of kills with it. It's just not that amazing, but it is very, very good. The radar, the performance of it, you know, it has the big flares, even though it's not a lot. It helps, you know. Um, but the thing is, once we start to get more fourth generation aircraft, when the MiG 29 is added, when the F 16 is added, when the F 15 is added, the performance of it that kind of carries the aircraft a little bit right now will be put it in its shadow, to be honest. Because the performance of it will be worse than the these other aircraft that I said. The radar will be worse, obviously. It is an older radar. Uh, or even at the same level of the F-16, but a little bit inferior to the MiG-29 and inferior to the F-15 and Su-27. So... Yeah, it's just a matter of time until this aircraft actually becomes very, very obsolete. Even though it is technically, as I said, a fourth generation aircraft at the same time that it is a third generation aircraft. So it is kind of problematic. As I said, right now, all right, it's fine. You can deal with targets. It's fun to fly. You get a lot of kills. Pretty all right. But once we start to get more fourth generation, it will be problematic. That's why I always say that for dealing with that, maybe the only option is to add the all aspect missiles for such an aircraft, you know? Uh, but I have a problem with the idea of that just because I have a feeling that they will use, for example, if they add an F-15 or a MiG-39, it will only get rear aspect missiles. Which is like, 
come on, it's boring, right? I mean, you are flying aircraft that are faster and better and you're supposed to use better weapons and then you use just the old weapons because of balance. I just think that that's the BR is there for balance, not the, the aircraft itself. But still, that's my opinion. They are uh, using a different method of balancing, but still, something that I disagree, but it's not the end of the world uh, anyway. Uh, but yeah, the problem that we see is that uh, the vegan will only have these two options. Get the RB-74, which will help you in the longer range engagements with the IR missiles against these more fourth generation aircraft. And also uh, the missile turns better and has a lot more energy than nine, uh, the RB-24J. So you will be just around that uh, a better aircraft just because of that. And the other thing is to add the computers. We need the computers to, uh, the, the, the gun side computers to just calculate the where you need to shoot. Because the more we go into the future, the more we will see this pattern of aircraft having less and less ammo or a worse gun in general, you know, of, of at rate of fire and stuff like that. Just because they don't need to have a very easy gun to shoot. Why? Because they have the computer to actually calculate with the radar lock where you need to shoot. So all of these fourth generation aircraft and the vegan included uh, and some of the old third generation as well, like the MLD, uh, I think the F-14 might have some kind of system like that. Um, these aircraft, they would be, they, they would need these, these computers to shoot at, you know. Uh, I think we need two types of these gun sights. For the radar gun sights that we see, for example, on a Saber or, I don't know, on a MiG-21, F-13, for example, it needs to be just calculating the bullet drop for the distance that the target is there. Uh, so the, it would just change the way the, the, the air-to-ground cannons computers work. You know, the, the gun sight, the, the little wing vertical that you have will just go for the ground and stuff like that. And you will calculate the bullet drop. The same thing needs to happen for the air-to-ground, uh, air-to-air targets. And then obviously in aircraft such as the Vegan and other modern aircraft, you need to actually, the actual uh, lead indicator, uh, maybe a more subtle one that we, when we have when we had it back in the day in the T2 and stuff but still uh, I think we need one to make sure that even though the vegan is going to be the top tier for a very long time for Sweden uh, even if you get the J37D still, still a vegan um, still have the same problems that the other ones have uh, but just with a better radar and missiles um, once we get more fourth generation aircraft these vegans will be actually usable because if they are the way they are right now, once a MiG-29, F-16, all of that aircraft that I told you guys about are added, it will be a big, big, big problem. Okay? So, yeah. But basically, this is it. I think it is safe for now, but it is going to be in danger very, very soon. Obviously, such aircrafts like the F-4F, for example, are much more in need for a change uh, than a Vegan, for example. But still, uh, it's not something we, we need to just take a look on all aspects of the game, not only the, the worst ones, you know? But yeah, guys, uh, basically this is it. And I see you guys on the next one. So uh, bye, guys, subscribe, be a patron, be a member. We have the PayPal in the description. And I see you guys on the next one. So bye, guys. See you.